Hello Aries, welcome to your next 48 to 72 hours reading. So Aries, we're going to take a look at what you can anticipate for the next 48 to 72 hours. This is a general reading, so not every message is going to apply. Just take what does and leave the rest. This is also timeless, so whenever you click on the reading, that's when the messages could resonate the most. I'm going to go ahead and tap in to see what Spirit wants you to know. Spirit, give me an overall energy for Aries for the next 48 to 72 72 and overall energy for Aries for the next 48 to 72. What do you want Aries to know? Overall energy next 48 to 72 going forward. Okay, so let's see what this energy is about. Spirit, why is going forward here for Aries? Why is this the main energy? Why is going forward here? What is the message? Why is going forward here for Aries? What is why is this the main energy? Why is this here? Okay. Oh, the Queen of Swords. So for some of you, I feel like you're making, I'm hearing an impromptu decision to cut someone off. I feel like you have full clarity about whatever the situation is. Cut something out. That's what I'm hearing as well. But you're being guided. I feel like you're really trusting your intuition as well. Give me another energy for going forward. I have the Four of Pentacles. Tell me more about the Queen of Swords. I'm getting with this Four of Pentacles. I'm hearing like make room. So I feel like um, whatever you're releasing, you're just making room for something better. I have the Knight of Pentacles. For some of you, it has taken you a long time to come to this conclusion, to make this decision, but you have clarity. Give me an energy for the Queen of Swords. Why is the Queen of Swords here? The Page of Pentacles. So yeah, I feel like you're ready to start over. You're ready to have this new beginning. I feel like this was a long time coming. But whatever you're choosing to leave behind is pushing you in the right direction. I feel like you're going towards the sun. I'm picking up on heavy sun energy. So for some of you, you could have Leo highly aspected. This is for sun, moon, rising, Venus, and North Node, as well as Jupiter and Chiron. Give me energy for the Knight of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here for Aries? What is the message? Why is the Knight of Pentacles here for Aries? What is the message spirit? The King of Swords. Wow. Give me another energy for the Knight of Pentacles. Justice in the reverse. Libra energy and the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. So yeah, for some of you, you could be going through um, a divorce. You could be estranged from whoever your spouse is or your mate. I definitely feel like this was um, a situation where you weren't able to really build anything solid with this person. It wasn't stable. The foundation you were trying to create with either this Queen of Swords or King of Swords energy. Something just really didn't go in your favor here. Give me an energy for justice. Why is justice here for Aries? What is the message? Why is justice here for Aries? What is the energy spirit? Yeah, the five of swords in the reverse. I'm hearing chronic. So somebody like chronically stressed you out. Um, it was a very argumentative connection. I'm hearing tit for tat. So there was a lot of that energy prevalent as well. Give me another energy for justice. I feel like you and this person bumped his a lot. Give me an energy for justice for Aries. What is the message? Why is justice in the reverse here for Aries? What is the energy spirit? Why is justice here in the reverse for Aries? I'm hearing time out. So for some of you, I feel like you did try to have some time apart. And then I'm hearing refrain from um, and then come back together. But even with the reconciliation, things still didn't work out. Um, with refrain from, I'm getting the energy um, of. I'm hearing refrain from usage. 
For some of you, I'm also picking up on a restraining order as well. That's a very specific message. I have the tower in the reverse. Yeah, for some of you, you were stuck um, in a cycle where you weren't getting what you deserve. Like this person just didn't treat you fairly at all. I feel like this is somebody that didn't um, want to build with you. This was a very one-sided relationship. I feel like one person was carrying the load. It was very um, unbalanced, unequal. Give me an energy for the Three of Pentacles. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Three of Wands. So yeah, the number three could be very significant. We have um, Three of Pentacles, Three of Wands. So 33, but you're deciding to move forward. I feel like you just come build with this person. And for some of you, you were always starting over, but you never got anywhere. That's what this page of pentacles is giving me. It was just the same repetitive cycle. It was a lot to deal with. Yeah, page of swords in the reverse. I feel like somebody just really never had good intentions to begin with when it came to this connection. This is somebody who will lie to you as well. I'm hearing all the time. I feel like this person was definitely brought in your life to teach you a lesson. To help you grow. To aid in your development, your maturity. To trust your own judgment. Give me an energy for the Page of Pentacles. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? The King of Pentacles. For some of you, thank you Spirit, with this going forward, you are going to level up once you leave this other person alone. Like somebody is a blockage for you. Somebody's blocking um, your growth, your abundance. So it's like once you walk away, then that's when this level up is going to happen. That's when this change is going to occur. Give me an energy for the page of pentacles. And for some of you, I feel like you're going to be leaving with barely anything. I'm hearing leaving with nothing. But trust me, when I say God is going to restore whatever you lost tenfold, that's exactly what's going to happen and you're going to end up receiving more than expected give me another energy on the page of pentacles the ace of swords and that's the truth yeah you're going to win you're going to find yourself um being more prosperous being able to attract more you know your manifestations ability is going to become more powerful once you walk away from this other connection i feel like for some of you too with the page of swords like you have been lying to yourself for a very long time about this connection just really trying to stay really trying to make it work i'm hearing stay by jodeci so somebody could be um a jodeci fan i'm hearing Devonte, so somebody's name could be Devonte or begin with a d or Delvin, I'm hearing that as well. I'm also hearing Casey. <laughs> so I'm pretty much getting all the names from Joe to see. So we have Jojo. Somebody um nickname could be that or Joey. Somebody's um name could begin with the letter J. Casey. Somebody's name could be Casey or begin with the K. And then we have Delvin and Devonte. Um so somebody's name could begin with a D. Give me an energy for the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. For some of you, I'm hearing like you could have met this person at a Jodeci concert. Like back in the day. That's a very specific message for someone. Give me an energy for the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. Why is the Four of Pentacles in the reverse here? But yeah, I'm hearing stay. Somebody could be playing um, Jodeci stay on repeat. Give me energy for the four of pentacles in the reverse. For Aries, the two of pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, you finally made a decision. And like I said, like there's going to be a release, especially when it comes to your finances. Once you close out this cycle, I'm telling you, like things are just going to start moving forward for you. You're going to be able to get ahead Somebody has been able to block your level up. 
because of the type of energy they're in. It's like God is not going to bless you um, if you're with the wrong person. There has to be some type of clearing that happens. Give me an energy for the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. Why is this here? Why is the Four of Pentacles in the reverse here? I'm telling you, Seven of Pentacles, your investments are about to pay off for you, Aries. Whatever you've been investing in, you've been working long, hard, I'm hearing hours. Whatever you've been giving your time, your effort, your energy to, it's getting ready to pay off. For some of you, you may have felt like giving up, but it's like you still kept giving to it. You still kept investing. And that's why this is getting ready um, to work out in your favor. I'm hearing closure and then I'm hearing stock market. So for some of you, you could have been investing in stocks. That is getting ready to increase for you. Pick up spirit says for you, Aries. Give me an energy for the two of pentacles in the reverse. Why is the two of pentacles in the reverse here for Aries? The hermit, wow, the hangman and the hierophant. So we have Virgo, Pisces, and Taurus. You can have either or all of these highly aspected Aries, but I feel like you went through some type of awakening. There's definitely been a significant change within you. You're not who you used to be. You have elevated, you have evolved. And this is you making a sound decision to do so, to change, to become more enlightened, or this is what's about to happen. But first it starts with you walking away from someone, leaving something behind. Because somebody is a blockage to your growth. Give me an energy for the Seven of Pentacles. So for some of you, this is you making a decision to work on yourself, to heal, to learn from your experiences, to forgive, just to change, to awaken, to transform. I feel like you've been holding back from doing this and it was primarily because of this connection that you were in, but not anymore. Like you're ready. Give me an energy for the Seven of Pentacles. I'm hearing Tevin Campbell, I'm ready to love you forever. But what Spirit is giving me is like, this is you saying I'm ready to love myself forever. Like this is you choosing you. Choosing to love on you. To pour into you instead of pouring into something um, that's really not going to give you what you deserve in the end. Something that um, keeps you in bondage instead of grants you freedom. Give me an energy for the Seven of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Tell me more about the Seven of Pentacles. The six of wands in reverse. Yeah, whatever you were given to is just not working out. You're not having a win with this person. You're seeing it though. That's This hermit energy is sticking out heavily. For some of you, you could definitely have Virgo highly aspected. But it's like you see it. You see it for what it is. And that's the first step. Recognizing the situation for what it actually is instead of what you want it to be. Owning up to the truth. Not running from it. Give me an energy on the hermit. Why is the Hermit here for Aries? What is the energy? Why is the Hermit here for Aries? What is the message spirit? Why is the Hermit here for Aries? What is the energy? Queen of Cups, I'm telling you, you don't heal. You have healed. Or you are healing. Or this is what's getting ready to transpire. You will go on your healing journey. And I'm telling you like. I feel like you're going to be making a choice. To no longer invest in people. and situations that's just not working out for you. Across the board. In many different areas in your life. This is you choosing you. In every situation. Every time. Because you're balanced. Or this is where you will be, Aries. You will be in a more balanced, healed energy. I'm hearing giving up the goals. Yeah, for some of you, you're finally surrendering to this because it's just time. It's time for you to move forward. And don't look back. How does the saying go? You don't look back 
um, the only time you look back is to see how far you've come. Give me an energy for going forward. Why is going forward here? The devil in the reverse. Yes, releasing this karmic cycle, this karmic loop that you're in. Whether it's a relationship, whether it's unhealthy attachments, unhealed wounds, addictions. This is you surrendering and say, I am done with this lifestyle. I'm done with this relationship. I'm done with the toxicity. I'm ready to be free. I'm ready to heal. I'm ready to change. I'm ready to become more enlightened. I'm ready to experience success. I'm ready to see my investments, my work, my efforts pay off. I'm ready. So Aries, this is your reading. Take what resonates. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.